just in getting here this morning, it was, it took, it was a major effort, <laughs> right? I have two. And I was telling Andy, who's behind, who's running the scenes behind here on this episode, um, my daughter had a total meltdown, total temper tantrum as we're walking out the door, getting into the car, and she's taking it on her brother who's sitting beside her in the back seat, like trying to protect himself. And I'm like, you know, do we need to do this right now? So, and that's just two. So what's it like trying to get four out the door? What's that like? <laughs> well, I have, uh, this, is, this is yesterday's eye makeup, if that makes you feel any better. <laughs> yeah, I don't really. I mean, how long does it take you? And, and here's the thing. Last night I said, pick out your clothes, pick out what you want to, because my kids are here with me today too. Um, pick out what you want to bring with you so that we didn't have to deal with that in the morning. And yet there's my daughter this morning. Oh, I wanted to wear something. She's changing her shirt. She wants something different from upstairs, but she's afraid to go upstairs by herself to get what she wants. Oh, gosh. Like, I don't have time. I'm sorry. That's what led to the meltdown. Mm-hmm. So it's like yeah. even with advanced preparation and planning, it still is just this mm-hmm. yeah. huge ordeal to get out the door. So what's it like with four? I'm like so impressed. Yeah. You guys are all here, you know, on Most time. of the time I look like a train wreck. I mean, I cut my hair short because I lost so much hair after I had him. And now I can't get it in a bun. And that was, that's been the biggest <laughs> difficulty of my oh. summer is I want to just be able to put my hair up in a bun. But most of the time, you know, it'll, I'm running around helping everybody get ready. Yeah. Not that my partner's not helpful. He is. But sometimes he'll ask, what do you think about this outfit? Or does my hair look okay? Or should I wear a hat? And I'm like, I don't care. Can You're I like, just I brush care. my teeth? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I, I end up being the last one to get ready. And then everybody wants to leave. And I'm like, but I need to get ready. Right. I need to, like, put a little bit of effort. Because I don't feel great when I don't look presentable. Right. Uh, but right. most of the time, I just leave the house in what I would say are pseudo pajamas and... I don't know. This is I'm doing the best I can, kind of thing. Yeah. I, I see other people pulling it off way better, but I don't know. Um. I don't know if that's really true. <laughs> I don't know about it that. It feels like it, but maybe it's not. Yeah. How about for you, ladies? I think you just get into a routine. Oh. Like the big um. kids are in Camp Boost right now, and they swim every day. So every night when they come home, I have to get their towels in the dryer and their yeah. suits hung up, which yeah. that means um, that their suits are not dry until the morning. Um, and so um, yeah, you can both play with it together. And then, um, so I do have prep work to do in the morning. So I have to make sure that I'm up before the kids get up. So I have like five to 10 minutes to get their their bags all done and ready to go. So that way I can focus on getting the two big kids ready. Okay. How about for you, Catherine? Um, I do everything I can the night before. Yeah. So I pre-pack the lunches. Yep. One, two, three, three, four lunches. And the children have different needs and preferences. Yes. So that's that's a thing. But I have everything ready. And anything that needs to be refrigerated, I have sort of a little area in the fridge where I have everything <laughs> pre-packaged yes. and pre-labeled for the baby. Because, you know, for the baby, you have to have her name and the date on any food you bring in. So I have all that ready the night before. Yep. So that in the morning, I just can sort of grab and go. Yep. Um, I take advantage of the fact that they serve breakfast at the daycare oh. that my children oh. attend. So I do okay. not have to feed breakfast to my my younger children mm-hmm. but of course anyone who's going to school does need to have breakfast but we have some breakfast items at our home that you can eat in the van on well, the well my to kids school. had breakfast in the car on the way here this yeah mm-hmm. yeah that that's we a do thing that a lot too. Yeah. and in terms of dealing with the meltdowns we absolutely have them in my family too i'm fortunate i don't have a job where i have to clock in at an exact time right. mm-hmm. and so with that flexibility if i'm a few minutes late it's not the end of the world I will say that I, I do have a tendency to be that last mom kind of screeching into the parking lot at school right as the tardy bell is ringing right. and attempting run, to run. offload my, my school age child. So there is that. <laughs> um, I actually sort of try to think ahead in terms of avoiding the meltdowns though. So if I can find something that each child wants and I can make getting that thing that they want right. dependent mm-hmm. on them doing what I need them to do. 
Yeah. For example, this morning my two-year-old wanted some gummy worms for breakfast, and I know that according to the nutritional guidelines of the whatever, right. you are not supposed to feed your child gummy worms for breakfast. Right. However, right. <laughs> I put the gummy worms in a bowl, and I put the bowl in the cup holder in my child's seat in the van, mm -hmm. and I said, in order to eat your gummy worms, you have to put on your shoes and get in the van in your seat. And then your gummy worms will be right there waiting for you. Mm -hmm. And he put on his shoes and he ate the van. Yes. And I buckled yes. him in and he ate the gummy worms. And it was, in my mind, a win-win-win. Yes. There you go. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs>